Hey guys, Brian Blackford here. I just want to quickly go over a new feature here on VRS. It is called the Stint Analyzer tool. It's very new to VRS and it's very useful. So let's jump right into it. Uh, here, four days ago, I did a run here at Homestead Miami Speedway. And typically when Slip Angle would do testing, they would do 30 lap runs. And then we would add those 30 laps together on a spreadsheet. So line by line, we'd go in and input those times, and then we'd get a total time for the total run, and then we'd see, you know, did a change make any difference throughout that whole run? It's very difficult to make a change and know if it's good just by running a couple of laps. Uh, so with that, we were able to, you know, make some good changes and, you know, but it was taking an enormous amount of time to put in those lap times into the spreadsheets every single time. So we contacted VRS and we said, hey, is there a better way to do this? We are spending a lot of time just putting our lap times into a spreadsheet when we could be testing. So they were actually able to do that. Uh, they, they were able to help us out. And uh, I'm going to show you it right now. And I'm going to select a 30 lap run here. And uh, as this loads up, um, the new feature is called Analyze Stints, and it's right here, uh, this little button, and we'll click on that. So, uh, what we really need to do is go up to the top here, this blue button, Change Selection. So, I'm going to go and set my target. My target is the left-hand column, and under Teammates, I've got Ray Alfala as a teammate. and. Uh, a couple of you guys know him, he's pretty good. <laughs> so uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna select one of his uh, sessions. This uh, 30 lap run on September 30th was pretty good. And I'm gonna select stint number one. Now I'm going to select my session and that was uh, on 1010. And now we can close this. So right away you'll see, okay, wow, there's a lot of colors here. Uh, on the left-hand column, you'll see my laps. And this first column is what we need to focus on right now. Uh, this is the full track column. And uh, you'll see that the shade of blue is actually telling me that I am a little bit slower than Ray. So the more vibrant the blue is, that means I was further off his time. So as you can see here, this, uh, this one where I was over three tenths off, that is a very vibrant blue and it's trying to get my attention. So uh, these first 12 laps, I really lost a lot of time. Uh, and uh, I know that immediately just by looking at the color. I don't even have to read the actual uh, numerical values of this column, I can just see right away that, oh wow, I've got a lot of time to make up uh, through this portion of the run. So one of my favorite things about this is just being able to go in here. See on lap number eight, I was quite a bit slower, so I can just click on it. And it takes me right to all the data I need to make the improvements in order to go a little faster next time. So. As you can see right here, entering turn one, I used a little bit, um, I used my brake a little too early and I bled off too much speed early. As you can see by this graph up here, I lost about four miles per hour entering turn one. Um, so overall, I was never able to recover um, from that point forward. And I even ended up losing more time uh, entering turn three. I got off the gas a little sooner uh, braked a little sooner into three. I wasn't able to get back to the gas the way I needed to. Overall, I know exactly what I need to work on. Um, but my, my steering angle is actually pretty good and it's, um, it's a little bit, uh, I'm using a little bit less wheel than Ray overall and I'm not really as jerky with the wheel um, as Ray was as you can see down here in the bottom left. So, um, you know, that's, uh, that's good for me. I know that I'm not putting too much wheel into it. So um, I know that I just need to focus on my braking mainly. So, and, and when I, when I brake. So that is an extremely useful tool. You can just jump right into any one of those comparisons 
and uh, you'll be ready to go for um, the, the next comparison. So let's see here. We've got, so, so now like during the middle portion of the run, you can kind of see these gray uh, colors and that means that our lap times were close to the point where it's almost like they, they were almost exactly the same. Um, and you can see right here, you know, I was four thousandths off. And uh, so I started leveling out throughout the course of the middle of the run, which is good for me. I know that like, okay, I'm, I'm losing a little time at the beginning here, but you know, I'm starting to level off, level off a little bit. Excuse me. So um, if you go down even further, you can start to see this red color. And that means that I'm faster. And because there's no negative sign, um, you can also tell that you know, I was actually faster on these laps. So the more vibrant the red, the better off I was, the faster I was in comparison to Ray's laps. So as you can see, by the end of the run here, uh, lap 27 through 30, I was actually quite a bit faster uh, every single lap and uh, over a tenth of a second. So I, I gained a lot of time at the end of this run you know, which really is useful. I, I know, I don't just know that he was, uh, let's see, this delta sum right here, I'll tell you about that right now. The, the delta sum, that shows that I'm 1.3 seconds off of Ray's total 30 laps, which is useful information. It's, it's, it's what we really need as drivers to know, okay, I'm 1.3 off Ray, over 30 laps, that's not great, but you know I know what I need to work on. Um, so essentially, they broke it down even further here on VRS. They, they showed us, okay, you, you want the total time. Well, we can also tell you where you need to gain that time throughout the course of the run, which is just super useful. And it's all color-coded, so you don't really ha even have to read these numbers in order to get a feel for what you need to improve on. So click on lap 30 here and just kind of see exactly how I gain this time and uh, overall just looks like I let off the, the gas later. We braked about the same. Um, as you can see here though, I'm starting to see that Ray is really fighting the wheel and you can see that really well here on the bottom left portion of the screen. So uh, he, kind of, he kind of fought the wheel a little bit and when that happens you can kind of tell that their tires are worn out a little bit more um, and, and I was able to hold the wheel a little bit more straight although it wasn't perfect by any means but it uh, wasn't back and forth on it like Ray was. Uh, used a little more brake into three um, but I let off the gas later and overall was able to carry more speed into three and I held a little more speed through the center and we pretty much carried about the same speed off. So pretty much the, the the time I gained was all in the center of the corner, uh, at least you know from entry to a little bit past the apex. And then when we started gaining speed, we were pretty similar, about both on the front stretch and the back stretch. So wow, that's really useful. You know, it looks like I've just got a little bit more grip on my tires, and I, I saved my tires a little bit better. So that is the stint analyzer tool, and. If you guys are going to use this uh, with your teammates, uh, it, it's, it's an ex exceptional tool, but make sure to, uh, when you do this, to do the same amount of laps as your teammate. Uh, make sure to run a test session. Do not run a multi-car session because the dynamic track model will now kind of throw these numbers off to the point where you might get some misleading information. So don't do that, but load up a test do the same amount of laps, run the same weather, run the same track state, and have fun with this. This is a, this is a really exciting tool. Looking forward to some feedback. Make sure to comment and uh, let us know uh, how we can even make this better because uh, VRS is all about just making sure that the user gets what they need. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'm going to sign off for now, but that is the Stint Analyzer tool brought to you by VRS.